Hello fellow Blender Maniacs, Alex Cordobard here and welcome to this tutorial. As the title of the video says, we're going to take a look at how to make normal maps within GIMP so that we could apply to our 3D models in Blender. Now, if you've been anywhere in Blender and done any texturing, you're probably familiar with normal maps, but if not, normal maps are basically this texture right here and it's composed of red, green, and blue values. And it basically fakes the lighting and the normals of the image to give it the illusion that there's high quality detail on a low quality or low detail model. As you can see here, we have two planes. The one on the right just has the image texture. It looks plain and boring, no pun intended. And the one on the left has the image texture plus the normal map. And you can see that it looks like it has a lot more detail like there's bumps and crevices and all that good stuff. However, it both of these are just for vertex planes. So pretty cool, and we're gonna take a look at how to make this. So this is a quick little tutorial, but it will be powerful and very useful. Now, the first thing we wanna do is open up your browser of choice, and of course, if you don't have GIMP, go ahead and download it. GIMP is like the free version of Photoshop, so it goes really well with Blender. All you have to do is go to Google, search GIMP, open up the first link, it should be the first one, gimp.org. Click that and click on download GIMP right here. All right, once you've done that, what we're gonna do is go to textures.com and we're gonna download the texture that we're gonna be using. So I'm just gonna search for brick and now if you click on any of these uh, popular textures here, you can see that a lot of these come with normal maps. So normal maps are pretty important. Now we're gonna take one that doesn't have a normal map as we're gonna be creating one. I'm just gonna scroll down and we're gonna select this one right here. Feel free to use any texture you want really, but go ahead and download the small right here. And I already have, but Go ahead and download it. All right, the last thing that we need to do before we create our normal map is go ahead and search on Google GIMP normal map plugin because unfortunately this does not come with uh, the default GIMP. You have to actually download it as a plugin. It should be the second link. It's gonna say code.google.com forward slash archive GIMP normal map. Click that link. And then on the left, you will see a downloads tab right here. Click that and you basically want to download the 64 bit if you have Windows 64 or 32 for Windows 32. I have 32, so I'm gonna go ahead and click 32. And then once that's downloaded, you could just gotta open the zip file and you could go ahead and uh, if I'm sure you already have a zip uh, program, but I'm using WinRAR to unzip my files. And what you want to do is go ahead and click on Extract to. Go to Local Disk C, and this is obviously if you saved GIMP in the default location. Local Disk C. Go to Program Files. Then search for GIMP 2 or GIMP. Go to uh, go to the lib go to GIMP 2.0, and then right there you're gonna find a folder that says plugins. So in plugins folder, click OK and extract that there. I'm not gonna do it as I already have done it. And then the other thing you wanna do is get these three .dll folders, which is this one, this one, and this one. As you can see, it says .dll. Just left click and control left click to select all three of those and then click extract to, and you're gonna extract these three .dll folders or files to, uh, we're gonna go back to C, program files, and then GIMP right there. And then under GIMP, we're gonna select bin. And in that bin folder, we're gonna put those three .dll files. All right, once you've done that, you should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and close this and go ahead and open up GIMP. Now, of course, you want to have had 
added that add-on once you had downloaded GIMP. Don't, uh, well, it'll be kind of impossible to download it if you don't have GIMP, but download GIMP first and then the add-on. All right, when you have GIMP open, go ahead and go to File, Open, and open that texture we downloaded from textures.com. Just find it in all my hundred million folders I have here. All right, there it is. Cool. Now, before we convert this to a normal map, we want to convert it, convert it, convert it to a black and white image. The reason being is because when you convert it to a bump map, uh, it it does it better if it's black and white values as those are more contrasted. We're gonna to go to colors, desaturate, and leave it to lightness and click OK. Now, what we also want to do is contrast these a little bit more. So we're going to go to colors. You could either use brightness, contrast, threshold levels, curves, or any one of these really to contrast it. I'm going to use the curves. And then just left click and drag the top right here, which will highlight the whites even more. And then left click and drag the bottom here, which will darken the darker parts. And all right, cool. And then click OK. All right, now for the normal mapping part of it, which is what you've been waiting for. Go ahead and go to filters, map, and now under map, you should have a new option that says normal map. Click that and you can see that we have a the options right here with a normal map preview. Now the height source and the alpha channel is unchecked right now. In order to make these checked, all you have to do is right click your texture right here and click on add alpha channel. Once you've clicked on add alpha channel, just go ahead and reopen this, go to filters. For some reason it's loading. I don't know what it's loading exactly as I didn't really do much. Come on. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me. All right, that was kind of weird. I got the spinning wheel of death for like a minute or so. All right, go back to filters and go to map, uh, normal map, and you will see that you now have the height and alpha channel uh, available. We're not really gonna go over these, we're just gonna go over a couple of options just to make our normal map, but you can play around with the other options that I don't cover in this tutorial. All right, the option, the thing that we're gonna check out too is the 3D preview. So go ahead and click on this and it will open up a new window right here and at first it looks like there's nothing, but if you left click and drag in the viewport, and this will be kind of familiar for Blender, it's basically a 3D viewport, and if you go to an angle, you could start to see your normal map on there. How cool is that? All right, now the options we're gonna take a look at, right here, filter. This will basically filter your uh, the RGB values of the normal map in different ways. So you can see right here, this switches the RGB values of the normal map differently. It gives you different results and effects. So you could really use any of these, but what I would recommend is either the four sample, the three by three, or the nine by nine, as these are pretty standard normal maps. I'm just gonna stick to the four sample, which is the one we had originally. And you could see now that it's not really hot, uh, you know, protruding that much. So the next option we're going to take a look at is the scale. If you increase the scale here, it will basically increase the bump value of it. So I'm going to put this to about six and you can see it's much more defined now. And then the other option, which we're not going to check, but it's good to know is the invert X. This will basically invert it. For example, if these bumps and crevices are pointing out of the bricks, if you click invert X, it will now go into the brick. So it will basically invert the uh, the look of it. Also to zoom in, you could alt right click and move your mouse and it will zoom in and out. So you can see when I invert it, you can see exactly what's happening. The parts that are going out, when you click invert, they're now going in instead. All right, I'm gonna zoom back out because that's way too close. And then that's pretty much it for the options that we're gonna take a look at here. Uh, you can play around with the other options if you would so like, but for the sake of this tutorial to create a normal map, that's all we're gonna look at. 
couple other things you could take a look at in the 3D preview. Right here, obviously, this is to rotate around your object. This right here is your lamp. So if you left click and drag, you could actually move the light source around to see the different lighting angles. This is to rotate your scene around, which is kind of similar to rotating your object. This is to expand it full screen. And then here you could select different objects such as cube, sphere, etc., etc. So you can see what it looks like on different objects. Cool. And then down here, you also have the options to put a diffuse map and a gloss map so that you can see what the normal map looks like with the diffuse map, which we're not going to do since we're going to jump. We're about to jump back into Blender to do just that anyways. And then you have a couple other options here, which, like I said, you could take a look at if you like. You could put the specular lighting, which will make it uh, more, which will give it a more, more shiny more shine to it so it will give it a specular look not not just uh not just diffused you can see right here it has more highlights because it's more specular now so again but all these options right here are just the preview they do not actually affect your normal map itself it's just a preview so keep that in mind all right i'm gonna go ahead and close the preview with this once again i'm gonna put it to four samples scale six invert x is off and good to go. All right, click OK. And spinning wheel of death. All right, there we go. So now we have a normal map from the bricks. How cool is that? And it's super fast too. Now just go to File, Export As, and go ahead and export it. I'm going to export it as right here. I'm just going to name it. As you can see, I already have one from before. I'm just going to name this one Normal Map 2. And I'm also going to change it from a J, dot .jpg to dot .png as I like it better as a PNG for normal maps especially. Click export. Leave all these settings at default and click export. Now back into Blender. Let's create a new scene. Delete the default cube. X delete. Change this to cycles renderer. Shift A add mesh plane. Go to your materials tab, click new, change this to principled. And then right here, we're going to change the base color to image texture. Open, open the, uh, the, not the normal map, but the actual texture itself. Also going to close that. Split your viewport. And this one go to uh, the First, let's go to the node editor. And then this one right here, just hit tab to go into edit mode, U and unwrap and unwrap your plane. So now if I go to rendered view on this, we could see that we have that. I'm also going to click on lamp, use nodes, sun, and change this to a value of three. Reselecting the plane, you can see that this is just the plane with the image texture. Hitting Shift D, let's copy that over. We're going to make this a single user so that it doesn't affect the other material. And on this one, we're going to go ahead and add the normal map. So in the node editor, Shift A, texture, image texture, open, and go ahead and open that normal map we just created, which is normal map two. Change it to non color data and bring the color in uh, output value into the normal input value. And then what you want to do is shift a add in a vector normal map node, draft that it drop that in there. And there we have it. Cool. Of course, you can see that the shininess is really sh sharp on this. So we could put the roughness. Of course, you might want to use a roughness map. Uh, I might make another tutorial on how to create a roughness map in the future, which is pretty similar. But there you go, you can see that now we have the normal map and it gives it the illusion that there's bumps and crevices and all that good stuff there. You can increase the strength of it by changing the strength here. If I put four, you can see that now it just looks uh, pretty intense. And of course, all the way to 10. All right, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial. Uh, I know it's going to be a ton, uh, tons of value to you because again, if you're doing any texturing in 
in any scene really, which I'm sure you are, I don't even know why I mentioned that, you want to use normal maps uh, because it will give you the illusion of high detail for your models. And now you have no excuse, you can make your own normal maps within GIMP and use them in Blender. So for example, in my last tutorial where we made that orange or the slicing with the orange, uh, you could I made the normal map for that orange texture and you could do the same now too. All right, guys and ladies, of course. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to go to the website, uh, check out the new contest that should be up by now, and yeah, join the community. Look forward to seeing what you guys create, and make sure to request tutorials on the website as well. Ciao for now. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. All right. Au revoir.